I would demonstrate you the button bleed circuit. That's how it looks in the diagram. That's how it looks on the panel. And if we're looking at the way the circuit's set up, there's one air op, this, uh, one air op valve with a single air op actuator, and it's feeding this cylinder, um, and there's a needle valve that feeds the supply to this air op valve. And then each one of these valves, this one, this one, and that one way over there, actually bleeds off the supply to this air op. So if we actuate this one, it activates the air op valve and retracts it. And so does this one. And so does this one. Again? Awesome. And this guy has to be tuned so that it's not open so much that it's continuously bleeding off too much air when, this, when any one of these button bleeds is activated. But it also has to be enough air so that it is responsive enough. Close too tight, it's going to take a long time to retract the cylinder. Opened up too much, it's going to waste a lot when any one of the buttons is um, depressed. Button bleed circuit.